Does my makeup look good? It does. That's the most important Beautiful. thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Toronto. Yes! We're back with our friends! After Europe, I came back to the US. I closed on my house in New Orleans. I don't even care that I live in the land of foxes because you guys, I bought a house. I am a homeowner. <gasps> Cheers to that. So cheers to being a new homeowner. You guys know Lonnie and then John. <laughs> I'm back in Canada because we're going to see a Kendrick Lamar concert tonight. Who you think they take out, take out Buddy. You gotta try this one. This is one of the yeah, best a... cocktails, if not the best cocktail I've ever had in my life. It's that good. You're gonna love it. Oh yeah, that's yes. super good. I'm just gonna take you along for the weekend. We're getting some good food. We're gonna do a workout. The time is good food. I'll see you later. The cucumber salad, but the reason I got it was because it said it was a signature dish. It's cucumber, but it's good. <laughs> That's lit. <laughs> Can't That's wait to try it. I know. Sashimi is not my choice. I have no chopsticks. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah, try it out. I don't know what the fish is. There's something in the inside of this. Corn fritter. It's like corn tempura. Oh, is it? Okay. All the fried food, man. It's like a chicken with rice, but there's like this coconut cream milk sauce. It's okay. It's chicken and rice, man. It's, a, it's also pretty good. I would say it's pretty good. No? It's okay, yeah, that's what I thought. a left on Spadina. So today for me was like a really chill day. Last night we went to the concert and it was incredible. My heart is still happy with how good the show was. We came home pretty late for me because I'm an old lady and I don't go to bed late. We're going to dinner now. The place is really highly rated. Let's go! I mean, Bob, Bro, got a cappuccino, man. <laughs> That's the most important Beautiful. thing. We are at Fortis Fitness. This will be the first real workout since I've been in Toronto. Okay, let's do it. See these old like ads from like the 30s and 40s and stuff? Some of them are hilarious. Too skinny, don't be fat. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's try it. The six, six seconds. seconds. Hey, it's been a while since I've done a workout voiceover. Feels good to talk about training again. Okay. So let's just jump right in. You just saw my brief warm up of dynamic stretching of both upper and lower body since we are going to be doing a full body workout. So we had to do both. And I did walking lunges to bring up my body temperature, but you can always hop on a treadmill and walk on incline for five minutes to get your body warmed up. But I just thought this would be easier. So this is a workout from my newest quick and effective program for busy people or people who don't wanna spend a ton of time in the gym, people who want fast workouts but also be challenging, fun, and of course, effective for building muscle. Also, if you have this program or any of my programs, keep in mind you get free access to my app, which is now live, to track all of your workouts. All my programs are on there and it's completely free for you guys when you purchase a program. So if you didn't know I had an app, now you do. I'll link all the info for you down below. 
So this workout starts out with two primary exercises. The first is a sumo goblet squat. You'll want your feet in a sumo or pointing out position, and you'll hold either a dumbbell or kettlebell in front of you as you lower. When you drive out of the hole or out from the bottom, you'll want to drive through your heels and drive with your glutes up and squeeze them at the top. The sumo position hits the glutes more than if your feet are forward, which would target the quads more. The next primary exercise is an eccentric accentuated lat pull down. So being limited on time, using this technique of decreasing the tempo of the eccentric, which is the going up portion of the movement, will allow for more tension on the muscle with less sets and reps, thus less time. You'll use a normal tempo pulling the bar down, driving your elbows down and in towards your waist, but slowly raise the bar up, accentuating the negative. The next two exercises will be a superset of a machine leg curl and a rope face pull, which you will do back to back with a short rest in between. So while your hamstrings are resting, you will hit your rear delts, and while your rear delts are resting, you'll hit your hamstrings. Let's just try it. I don't know what 41 is. Can you do 52? I don't know. 52 what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 52 something. At this gym, they actually had pressurized Kaiser machines, which have an interesting and constant resistance curve. They're actually really cool machines. I think I've seen them only once before, but it was fun training on them. And it feels really strange at first, but it's really smooth once you get going. So a lot of people struggle to feel their rear delts on a rope face pull. So a good cue is to pull the rope straight towards your eyes and pull your arms back like you're going to do a double bicep pose and then reverse the movement on the eccentric but keep control of the movement. The next two exercises are another group of supersets to keep this workout moving very fast. So you're gonna do a leg extension and a machine ab crunch back to back, again with little rest in between. While writing this program, I tried to group exercises that don't overlap muscle groups as well as could potentially be near each other in the gym. However, it's impossible to predict the layout of everyone's gym, so I did my best to group machine exercises together and dumbbell exercises together. This gym just happened to have the ab machine right next to the leg curl, which was a complete fluke as I'd actually never been to this gym. But if you have to walk a bit in your gym to get to the next exercise, I would just count it towards your rest time. The leg extension and the ab machine were both pressurized Kaiser machines like the leg curl, so it took me a minute to get used to it. I wanna see what, see what kind of chops you got. Not bad. And last but not least, 10 to 15 minutes of moderate intensity steady state cardio. On this particular day of the program, I actually add cardio at the end of the workout. I've never included cardio in a program before, but when people ask me when to do cardio, only if they want to add cardio, I advise adding it after your weight training session. Since you're short on time, you're not going to have time to add cardio on top of these workouts, which is why I included it. And, you know, it's good for your heart. And after that, we are done. Super fast and super efficient. Tell everyone she's, she's that, that yeah. he looks better in pink than I do. Oh. Oh. I love that. Thank I love that. You. I can't deal with all this positivity. I'm, I'm waiting for the no, other bro, show. It's for real. It's for real. It's for real. Looks nice. This is as good as it gets, okay?
Oh wow. That is super good. We had an incredible weekend with good food, good friends, good music, and of course, good times. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Love you, bye.